cost of living pressures remain front of mind for households. So what is the data showing and what does this mean for the Reserve Bank? Wages growth has picked up recently, but it's fallen well short of inflation. Annual wages growth, as measured by the Wage Price Index, reached 2.4% in the March quarter, its highest level in more than seven years. But this was well short of the 5.1% surge in headline consumer inflation over the same period. In other words, prices have risen more than people's pay packets. This means in aggregate, households can afford fewer goods and services than they could a year ago. Plus, households are expecting higher interest rates. In turn, consumer sentiment has taken a hit, dampening the outlook for spending. The same story is playing out in many advanced economies around the world. The upshot is, these headwinds will be cushioned by the very strong labour market. In fact, the unemployment rate fell to 3.9% in April, its lowest level in almost 50 years. Demand for labour is high and labour shortages are a challenge for many businesses. Plus, in aggregate, households have accumulated savings buffers which will help to shield against rising interest rates and support spending. But not all households are in this position. The squeeze on household budgets is likely to be more acute for lower income households. Typically, they spend more of their income on essential goods and have smaller savings buffers. A natural question, given the strength of the labour market, is why haven't wages picked up more? While they have picked up, wages growth is still relatively low compared to historical levels. The average annual growth rate in wages since the late 1990s is 3.1%. The current growth rate of 2.4% is still well short of this. This reflects inertia in wage setting practices and also the way the wage price index is calculated. For example, a large number of Australians are on enterprise bargaining agreements or award wages. These are typically agreed for multiple years and take time to renegotiate and factor in the current state of the labour market. Measures of wages growth which respond faster to changes in economic conditions indicate a more material lift in wage pressures. The RBA is certainly confident in the pickup in wages, pointing to strong signals from its business liaison program. The March quarter result for the wage price index was weaker than projected by consensus forecasts, but won't be enough to stop the RBA hiking in June. The governor has stressed the importance of getting back to business as usual. Our core view is for a rate hike of 40 basis points in June, but the softer wages outcome could mean the odds have shortened for a standard 25 basis point hike next month.